Alright, Wild One, what's up, Deadly Hunter? I've got a smile on my face. Black Ops 2 came. It came. This is the first time I pre ordered the game. So I was thinking, because throughout my history of ordering stuff, like I've, I have extremely bad luck. It comes um, like days after when it says it's going to come. So I'm thinking, oh, when's this thing going to come? I've been asking my friends, asking people going online. Everyone's saying it should come on the day or the day before. So I was just like, Okay, but <clears throat> sorry, I ordered it from Tesco, and I was just thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But then I woke up. I woke up at like six, and then I just went back to sleep, and then I woke up later on around ten, and then I just opened up my laptop, went on YouTube, just looking at um Black Ops gameplays, and then I was just I was just seeing table, and it just saw the whole screen whole video um subscription filled with black cops and I was just I was just smiling and watching it and then I thought to myself wait why don't I check downstairs if I've got black cops so I was just like it's probably not because like when I hope for things I always automatically just automatically think oh it's not there just to get my hopes down basically because I never like to get my hopes up because if you get your hopes up and then get disappointed it's just it's gutting <laughs> so I'm just like it's probably not there that's, that's what I'm saying to myself as I walk downstairs I'm just gonna have to go back upstairs and then wait and then it's gonna come late it's probably gonna come at seven o'clock in the evening or something I was just talking rubbish basically go I uh, go downstairs and I've got about 40 steps in my house so I've got a lot of time to think <laughs> so I just when I get to the last flight of stairs I can see the front door already and I just see an A4 package on the floor and I'm just like yes and I start running and then I look over and it's got my sister's name on it because um, I got her to pre-order it and I just ripped it open and I was just like yes yes and I saw Black Ops 2 and I was just like oh my god and I ran upstairs put it in and then here we are and then this is my first game on and I'm gonna talk about the game basically because the game is it's good I have there's some good things there's some bad things the sniping is I like it I like it but it's difficult it's it's it, it's a challenge basically because what I, I've said before is about black ops 1 is the sniping isn't about perks like you can pick up a sniper with any perks and then quick scope if you've got the skill and black ops 2 it seems to be the same thing when i first first actually in this game i didn't even snipe in it but um when i first sniped it, I, I, it was difficult but what i realized is that this is this is sniping so let me just forget about this is black ops 2 and just snipe so that's what i did and i seemed to hit my shots a bit more but i haven't hit any clips yet which is what I want to do. I want to make a little Black Ops 2 montage. So that's what I'm going to be going for. Actually, next I'm going to be playing zombies, in fact. But um, what I don't like, or one thing I've noticed, is that the, you know, when you if you get like two kills, it it you're most likely to get a double kill, no matter how. How do I explain it? Like you get double kills and triple kills really easily and in MW3 they're difficult to get you have to get like either triple collapse or it has to be super quick in this game it doesn't have to be quick you just get a double kill or a triple kill and it's pretty simple um, one thing I had wished I did was play a bit more free for all towards the end of MW3 to get back into free for all because I hadn't played free for all in a while and I think I lost some of my skills um, so I've been playing a bit of free for all. Um, I'm not liking the ground war. I can't snipe on ground war. Um, it's just not. It's not working for me. Um, maybe because this. This is the first like a couple hours. This is the first hour I played the game. Um, I went into combat training. I'll show. I'll probably upload those. Get that gameplay next. I think I'm at 30 and two, and I was just sniping and I was just, just sniping the bots, and I did pretty well. And I, I hit a lot of my shots, so that's what I was doing just to get into the feel of the sniper. And I think this sniper is called the DS, DSR-50. I'm not, I'm actually like 10% sure. <laughs> like I, I don't even know the guns. The only guns I've been using is MP7 and DSR-50. And I wish they didn't put the MP7 in because 
I didn't want it to have. I didn't want want it to have any resemblance to MW3. Not that I didn't like MW3, but I've been using the MSR for about a year, so like I don't want to go on to Black Ops 2 and still being killed by the MSR. Wait, did I say MSR? I mean MP7, and then using the MP7. So I wish they didn't put that in. Um, the other there's some other sniper that looks like the MSR, and you have to unlock it at level 43. Are they mad? Like that's that's long. They always, they always do that, but things I love in Black Ops is loads of things I like. Actually, no, I'm not gonna say what I like so far yet. But um, this Black Ops Two, it doesn't remind me of a Call of Duty. When I play it, it reminds, it reminds me of a different game. Like just looking at it, not the feel or anything. It doesn't look like a Call of Duty game. It looks completely different. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks more like a I don't know, a battlefield game or something like that. But it's it's good, I don't mind. It looks good. There's there's why why there's different things. I haven't even gone through the kill streaks or nothing. There's so much more to play. I I pre ordered this as you know and as I kind of explained, so I'm gonna put in the code for the um was it Nuketown twenty twenty five later. But next I'm gonna play some zombies and then see how that goes. Um, in this game, I was I don't I didn't know any sort of spawns I didn't know anything and this the gun that I was using is actually pretty decent I don't know what it's called I cannot remember at all but it was decent and I noticed that when you when you shoot people they 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 most of the time die pretty much instantly um, and it's I find that the guns are kind of inconsistent. I don't know if it's just me because like I'll be shooting someone and in one time some guy will just be eating up bullets and then it takes me a lot longer to kill him and then sometimes they'll just drop like flies. But there's a lot there's lo a lot of fa factors in that. Maybe the person was injured or something like that. So I don't know. Um sniping, I have got like two hit hit markers in my whole life of sniping in Black Ops 2. So Yes, that's pretty good, but then when everyone gets up to the same level or quicks open or close, then it's gonna be like it's gonna be kind of annoying for the people in Groundhog and the people who are running and gunning because already I've heard people say that it's annoying. And one thing I forgot, I was playing free for all and I dropped shot, I drop shotted someone and it and it came off as like a um what do you call them? Not a trophy, but like something came up and it said drop shot and I was like, whoa. So Maybe there's different things in Black Ops 2 like this, but this game is good. <laughs> and um, one thing that's not fair, I, I've been watching people's commentaries and then like some people are saying Syndicate was like, no, it's not it was Syndicate, it was Vic Star. He was like, I've been, I've got five hours played on this game and I had it early and I, 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 I got this gameplay prior to release and stuff like that. And I'm like, these guys, you know they're going to be sick of this game because they've been playing it from time and then us normal people get the game on the day and then we think they're sick i mean we think we're sick and then we go and look at their gameplays and then they get 30 and 1 or something like that and we're just like oh it's like it breaks your heart or well, it broke my heart no i'm joking but this game i can't wait to get back and play it um and play the newtown 2025 20, i'm just looking at the case it just this game i've been waiting so long for it and i got it straight away um i haven't been able to play with any of my friends because they're not on and one of my friends, <laughs> uh, they, I, I think they, they reserved the game, so they went to the shop and tried to get it, and then because they were underage, the, the person at the till didn't give it to them, so they got to wait for their mom to go and get it, and that is pretty upsetting for them, <laughs> and I was just laughing at them. But overall, throughout the first hour of this game, I'm going to rate this game a 9 out of 10. Um, because there, there's a one or two things that should that that's gonna be fixed. I know they're gonna patch sniping because of the hit markers. Is none there's like literally no hit markers, so I think they're gonna change that. But so far the game is good. Probably by my next upload, I'm gonna be complaining, and everyone else is gonna be complaining. This game is rubbish and stuff like that. But none, I'm really enjoying this game. But anyway, Deadly Hunter, peace.